You hear that? That is the sound of a groundbreaking scientific device. It's called a paperfuge. That's a centrifuge made of paper. And like a traditional centrifuge, it works by separating the contents of biological samples by spinning really, really fast. That's an important first step for diagnosing illnesses like malaria and HIV. Manu Prakash is a bioengineer at Stanford, where he spends a lot of time thinking about how to make science affordable and accessible. So to me, frugal science is uh, really designing with constraints in mind. When we see bringing tools uh, to the masses, we truly do mean billions of people on the planet. Commercial centrifuges are heavy. You need electricity to power them, and they can cost thousands of dollars. In a lot of places in the world, you can't power, afford, or transport a traditional centrifuge. And we told ourselves we're going to design one, but it cannot require any electricity uh, because of the places we work in. It needs to be completely light and portable that I could carry it in my pocket. And it had to cost less than a dollar in parts just so we could actually scale the manufacturing. And by boxing ourselves in with constraints, we can think outside the box. Health workers can load a blood sample and with very little force, power the paper feed by hand. I have a simple glass capillary with uh, some beads and glass uh, in water. And I'm gonna take this capillary and put it right here. And at this point, I'm just gonna spin this. And if this was a blood sample, and I would spin it roughly at the speed for, say, a minute, I should be able to get the entire contents of that blood, all the RBC, separate out from the plasma. So here is the capillary, and all the beads are all the way in a really, really narrow band up here, and then the completely uh, empty fluid is right on top. Paperfuse is based on a classic toy called a whirly gig. The design has been around for thousands of years, but it wasn't until very recently that anyone developed a physical model for how it works. Conventionally, a string has a geometrical limit to what it can coil. And beyond that geometrical limit, the number of twists uh, going beyond that limit will pop the string in the third dimension, and it'll start coiling in a, a hierarchical structure, which is a coil of coils. This is called supercoiling. Supercoiling turbocharges the paperfuge up to speeds of 125,000 rotations per minute. That's enough to generate 30,000 Gs, enough to isolate malaria parasites in a matter of minutes. I find it quite uh, fascinating to see the simplicity in toys and exploit those mechanisms in uh, tools that we make, because sometimes a simple solution is probably far more powerful than a conventional off-the-shelf way of thinking about it.